people are killing animals and enjoying to eat them, do you think it's right? I don't think so. Hmm. Everyone has right to live, not right to take their lives. Should Buddhists be vegan? To answer this question, I traveled into the depths of North Thailand. One of the principles of Buddhism which I admire is that it seeks out the truth. During my travels, I came across loads of fascinating creatures, like this walking stick. I also answered some questions faced by many vegans. You're alone on a deserted island with a water buffalo. What do you do? We even visited a spirit house where they do voodoo-like rituals. This looks like something out of the Blair Witch. I am so scared right now. Now Buddhism aligns itself with Ahimsa, which is the respect for all living things and avoidance of violence towards others. So the question is, how does this compare to veganism, which is defined as a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of, and cruelty to, animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose? Now these two philosophies seem like they have a lot in common. Was there something lying under the water I wasn't aware of? It became clear I had some questions to ask. My first stop was at Wat Chedi Luang. What? Wat Chedi Luang. What? Wat. Wat? Wat. It means temple. Wat. I found someone through the Monk Chat program there that has a master's in Buddhist studies. He has a background in engineering in addition to Buddhism, making him a peace engineer. After I finished the master degree of Buddhist study, I think I should do something benefit to the world by applying all my knowledge to help to help to give some information that I know mm -hmm. to the world. What I know from uh, Gautama Buddha uh -huh. to the world. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is a uh, my Yeah, and I guess uh, one of the core principles being Ahimsa uh, and that principle of nonviolence to mm -hmm. all living things. Mm -hmm. What's your kind of perspective on that and how it relates to Buddhism? Mm -hmm. Nonviolence uh, for Buddhist laymen, we have we call the the five morality or the the five basic that the five rule mm -hmm. five precept that. Uh, for fighting, abstain from killing. Mm -hmm. Do no harm to anyone, anyone, anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, abstain from stealing. Mm -hmm. Abstain from sexual misconduct. Mm -hmm. Abstain from telling a lie, and abstain from intoxicant or drinking and so on. This is the five morality or five precepts of Buddhism. Mm -hmm. It's not compulsory for us to follow, but if we can do what happened, we think the world will be more peaceful. Yeah. Okay. Like, like you said. Especially so number one, do no harm to anyone, anybody, any, uh, every element. Do no harm to every element. You should ask for them. Like, uh, are you willing to die for us? Yeah. Uh, if, if I, 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 we, what, what do you think animals would say? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I understand. Don't <laughs> like that. Uh, we don't, we don't have the right to kill them. We don't have the license to kill. That don't have a license to kill and don't have the right to kill them. I think that's great that you bring up rights. I mean, do you think when we uh, uh, kill an animal, we violate their rights? Like violate their interest in living? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 this I, I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Based on your experience with Buddhism, do you think that it would be more consistent if if more Buddhists were vegan mm -hmm. and didn't didn't participate at all in animal use? Mm. This is this mean uh, the weekend in in Buddhism. Yeah. The weekend. We have two kind of Buddhism in the world now. We can classify into two groups. First, we call Theravada Buddhism. Second one, we call Mahayana Buddhism. Mm -hmm. For the second one, Mahayana Buddhism, they many of them are vegan. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, 
for Theravada Buddhism, uh, maybe 50 50, or I'm not sure, maybe 50 50. Some of them agree, some of them say uh, they, uh, they, they don't worry too much about, about the food. If, if they know, if they don't know, uh, like uh, the monk in the Theravada Buddhism, if uh -huh. they don't know uh, where the, the, the meat or the, the beef from, uh, if, they, if they don't know, they are killed for them. They can eat. This is a uh, Theravada Buddhism. But for Mahayana Buddhism, okay, many of them are vegan, vegetarian. Okay. Yeah. And and do you think there's a um, an important difference between vegetarian versus vegan? Like from uh, like uh, from milk from an, uh, a cow, for instance, having to impregnate the animal. And um, I think one of the, the core principles I one of the core principles of um, Buddhism to not steal. Do you think that, you know, if a cow is milk, I think we can mostly agree <laughs> is meant for their young? Do okay. you think that's taking something that's not ours? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I agree. Yeah? I yeah. agree. I think we agree on most things, it sounds like. Yeah. I agree, yeah. Yeah. I think his teaching may be like a, like a no, no killing, absent mm -hmm. from killing, absent from killing. Mm -hmm. And then later time, uh, for some sort society, they try to generate more teaching. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe at in the Buddha time, they I think they they don't kill too much anymore. Oh yeah. In the Buddha time, but later on, uh, some some of them think. Uh, like uh, materialism happen, consumerism happen later, then they they adjust the teaching with their society, with their tradition. Okay, so you think you think I, I think straight, I think straight from if the for, original for teaching Buddha, Buddha, yeah. if if he say no healing or oh, abstain from healing, so yeah. This is my idea, my, my view also. I, yeah, I think that's a good way to put it because you look at the other principles yeah. of, of you wouldn't do a little bit of stealing, yeah. you wouldn't do a little bit of um, yeah. lying, you wouldn't 100%. do a little bit yeah. of... Not do. Yeah, not okay. do. Sure. That's yeah. brilliant. And I think just last question, do you think um, if we can find a way to respect animals, mm -hmm. we can um, find a way to um, better respect each other mm -hmm. as people? Yeah. Do you think they kind of connect? Yes, I agree. 100% agree about how to pay respect to each other no matter what they are anymore they are the element of the world we have to pay respect we have uh, I think we have the we should fair enough to treat every element of the world the same thank you so thank much thank you very for much for, 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 really for your uh, uh, for this interview uh, Thank yeah, you very much. Thank you very much. I really, really, yeah, I really, really, I very, very appreciate to to uh, tell something like this to 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 the world. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for your time. Yep. This chat gave me new questions to ponder. If Buddhism respects life, why aren't all monks vegan? How does not seeing the animal being killed change anything? Why don't they talk to others about veganism to encourage others to stop the killing? Is it true that people have strayed from the teachings to respect all life? To answer these questions and more, I went to Wat Suan Dok to speak with Pra KK, who's been a monk for 17 years. I'm here at MC University. As you can see, it's a much longer name than I can pronounce. And I'm here to have a chat with Pra KK, one of the monks here, to learn a little bit more about Buddhism and how it relates to veganism. Let's do it. So I'm here with uh, Pra KK that I had the pleasure of meeting um, last week at our one-day meditation course where yes. we learned about mindfulness, meditation, and a bit about Buddhism. And one of the concepts we discussed during the course that I find particularly interesting is the concept of ahimsa and doing non-violence or not killing yes. any living being. Yes. Could you tell us just a little bit about what that means to you? The first role for the Buddhist monk, abstaining or avoiding killing any living beings 
So what does mean any living beings? It's between human or animal, all living beings, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? Yes. No one can stop directly. That's why you have to avoiding or abstaining mm -hmm. from killing. Step by step, finally you will say you changed the practice and you can stop. When we look at animals, do you think animals can kind of experience life and experience happiness? Yes. Yeah. You know, recently I saw uh, a small documentary. Uh huh. I don't. I don't know how to say it. documentary. Oh, okay. Yeah, documentary. Yes. Yeah. So I think it was a party field. Mm hmm. Uh, not exactly party field. It's ground. A uh -huh. Big big ground. Uh huh. So the farmers they cultivate. You know, they cultivate uh -huh. by, before we cultivate by the cow or buffaloes, mm -hmm. you know. But nowadays, we use a machine, tractor mm -hmm. or something. So, I have seen, you know, on the ground. So, tractor was cultivating, you uh -huh. know, like, a, I don't know, something making the mud uh -huh. to plant some vegetable or something. So, there was a birth. Mm -hmm. There is a bird, mama bird, uh -huh. and with many babies, uh -huh. birds. Uh -huh. The tractor, big tractor, is coming. Yeah. It's cultivating like... <laughs> you know, he, that's called the mom. Like he, how unconditional love to kids. She was covered with her two wings, and babies was there. It's and the, the, tax, uh, the, 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 the The tractor was coming. She doesn't move. But it was very good luck. The driver, he was stopped. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, he was stopped. So the two wheels, four wheels, he was take up the sharp mm -hmm. things. You know, he was move on the next step. That's what I sh saw in a small documentary. It just come to my heart, you know. So that's what we, we can learn not to harm uh, any lives. Because, you know, animals has also emotion. They have feelings. Mm. Maybe they cannot talk or impress or to express mm -hmm. like a human being. You know, if I lost my mom, I will cry. People can see my sadness, mm -hmm. you know. Animal, animal being could not be like that, but they have also emotion, they have feelings. So we should respect to all living beings. We should share our kindness, compassion, love, forgiveness, you know, to have a good life to live with happiness, mm -hmm. not to harm yourself, not to harm others. So overall, yeah, everyone yeah. has feelings and emotions as well. I think that's beautifully put. And do you think that when we um, take an animal's life, we violate their, their right to experience future happiness? People are killing animals and enjoying to eat them. Do you think it's right? I don't think so. Mm. Everyone has right to live not right to take the lives no matter human being or animal being you know mm -hmm. so that's why we have the rules regulation in the world people they don't follow the rules mm -hmm. buddha said atahi atananato you know if you never change yourself nothing will change in your life you know if you want to gain peace and happiness live with happiness do good avoid bad purify your mind you know so this is uh, what I want to tell to people, mm -hmm. avoiding violence, doing bad, you know, and do something good. And good or bad, who will decide? Your mind will decide. Yeah, and I guess given the thing I was shocked to learn is that even with um, um, milk from a cow or um, eggs from a chicken that they're still killing, the male offspring oftentimes aren't profitable, so they're killed within a first day or two often. So, ah. you know, I guess when, and one of the things I really admire about Buddhism is seeking the truth. Yeah. So I think looking behind the curtain a bit mm -hmm. and learning these things, it sounds like um, maybe the intention of some of the teachings yes. is to follow that pursuit. Some are non-vegetarian, uh -huh. some are vegetarian, some are vegan. Mm -hmm. Okay. So according to Buddhist teaching said, that avoiding doing bad okay so so that's why Buddhism talk about the karma mm -hmm. it goes around comes around cause and effect I think my personally vegan is the one of the best option there could be so many Buddhist people and they said that I'm Buddhist 
Uh-huh. But they don't follow the teachings. You know, it's happened to every religion. Someone say I'm Christian, actually they have never been to Christian church or read yeah. the Bible. You know, even could be there are some monks who said I'm a Buddhist monk, but they don't know what the roles of Buddhist monk. Mm -hmm. It's just wearing their robe. Mm -hmm. And that's why Buddhism says investigate, practice until you find the truth. Change yourself. Yeah. Buddha cannot change you. So one last thing around the um, uh, veganism, I guess other forms of animal use. Um, in Thailand, there's a lot of elephants being used yeah. for entertainment, being ridden, or being forced to take baths when they may not want to. Is there anything in the Buddhist teachings that say we shouldn't get entertainment or, you know, the other forms of animal use? If someone, let's say rich people, to make money, mm -hmm. you know, they have business. They're showing like that, but main intention to gaining money, that's not good. And I you guess that's I mean. the difference between a zoo yes. versus a sanctuary, yeah. Yeah, I wish one day everyone will be more, you know, uh, non-violence uh -huh. people to make more to all living beings to live with peace and happiness. It sounds like for yourself, being vegan, if someone gives you something that's not vegan, is, is there a, po a polite way that you can tell them, um, I don't choose to participate in this? Or, because um, I guess by accepting it, would you be kind of um, feeding into their bad karma? And the intention, you know, there's, there's killing behind. So in Thailand, for the Buddhist monk, they don't decide food. But for the Buddhist people, guys, they has already teaching, avoiding killing any living beings. Still people killing as a Buddhist or someone doing business. So who, can, who am I to change them? But yeah. as a monk, I try to spreading my teaching to them. Maybe one day they will realize when they lost their son or daughter or something, you know, they will realize, they think, what I did, that's why it's happened, that the kind of bad karma come to my life. Mm -hmm. One day, everyone, I guess, will be vegan. In that way, when we able to stop abusing or, how to say, uh, violence to the animal being, then we will learn ourselves not to abuse, not to violence each other. So one day, the world will be more peace and happy. You know, uh, all living beings, no matter animal or human being, we can stay together. We wish you all the best, guys. And thank you for your kindness You're and welcome. taking the time to meet with us. You're welcome. Yes. Namaste, Khan. I still have a lot to learn about Buddhism. If I learned anything from this trip, it's that the intention of the Buddhist teachings is to do what's right, which includes respecting life and not killing others. So it seems while the Buddhist teachings tell us this, society has strayed. It also seems like monks are in a tough spot because they don't get to choose what they eat. This may make it difficult for them to live in line with the Buddhist teachings. Buddhist or not, it's up to each one of us to try to be aware of our impact on the world. Are non-human animals really that different from us? Or do they experience life in a similar way? If so, we can't use them without violating their rights, such as the right to be respected. I hope that one day we will find the truth out about the world and about ourselves. And that the vast majority of us respect life and wouldn't want to support needless breeding and killing. Like KK, I hope the world will one day choose to be vegan. We may be sneaking some of our breakfast to the pigs. Looks like any other mailbox. For sending merit to lovers? Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? If this dog can drive a motorbike, we can be vegan. Yeah. The, the most important to, okay, avoiding. Plane. <laughs> the power of meditation and patience. <laughs> <laughs> Good audio.
See? <laughs> in this it's good this is the patience and letting it go. Yeah, that's so what I want to say. We need a lot of patience in this situation. Yeah. You know, someone making noise, a lot of sunrise, feeling hot. Or what? Yeah, just a couple more questions. Because no, no, no. I think, yeah. You know, this is not too much painful. Yeah. I feel a lot of hot or something suffer, but uh -huh. I'm saving the suffer in the, in the world to all the living beings. You know what I mean? So why I not well put. Don't patient? I think that's a good, yeah, yes. the big picture, not just yeah. ourselves. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You know. <laughs> Whoa, I did not expect him to be able to fly. They are so cool. For more about the Monk Chat program, check out monkchatmcu.changmai on Facebook. Please like, subscribe, share, and let us know any thoughts you might have in the comments.